Take a look at problem 4 or 5. The rifle is aimed horizontally at the center of a large target 60 meters away. The initial speed of the bullet is 240 meters per second. What is the distance from the center of the target to the point where the bullet strikes the target? Alright, so let's uh, consider... I'm just going to go with the bullet. We fire this bullet. And it's going to travel towards the target over here. We're aimed at some kind of center of the target. But because it's projectile motion, it's going to hit down. So it actually is going to hit at some point. And it's going to displace in the y direction some point below the center of the target. The actual displacement in the x direction is 60 meters. And the initial velocity of the bullet, at least in the x direction, is 3, 240 meters per second. So again, we, we have um, superimposed motion happening simultaneously. We've got the x motion to the target, strictly unaccelerated. And we have the y motion, which is under the acceleration of gravity. And so we wish to look at this. Let's look at the x direction first. What do we know? Well, we know our initial velocity, which is our final velocity as well, 240 meters per second. We know our displacement. That is 60 meters per second. We know our acceleration is zero. No acceleration in the x direction. And uh, so we have three kinematic variables. And these kinds of problems, we want to find the time because it's the same for both directions, so that will help us with the y direction after this. So there's our four variables. We solve for time. Realize that uh, displacement will equal initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. In this case, we don't have an acceleration. So it's strictly initial velocity in the x direction times time. So time will equal displacement divide by our initial velocity in the x direction. And that will be 60 meters divide by 240 meters per second. And that will give us um, a quarter of a second, 0.25 seconds. So this whole action of the bullet is taking a quarter of a second to get to the target. Now, what do we know about the y direction? Well, uh, we're starting horizontal, so we have no initial velocity in the y direction. We know we're on the acceleration of gravity, and if we define down as positive, then acceleration of gravity will be 9.8 meters per second squared. And hence, our displacement down will also be a positive displacement. We don't know what that is. That's what we want to find out. But we do know that's simultaneous with the x motion, so our time is 0.25 seconds. So there's our four kinematic variables, and so I would have displacement equals initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. In this case, we have no initial velocity, we're shooting straight horizontal, and so we can calculate our displacement as simply being one half times the acceleration of gravity, 9.8, times time, 0.25 seconds squared. So what does this give us? That is 0 0.306 meters, or about 30.6 centimeters. Seems like a lot for a rifle bullet uh, in such a short time. It's amazing that that's the case. So we would have to bore sight for this distance to account for that uh, so that we would hit in the center of the target. Just curious um, what that angle might be. You know, if we were to shoot on a level plane 
to the center of the target, then we would have projectile motion on a level plane, and we, we know that the range for such motion would be v naught squared sine 2 theta over g. So if we wanted to find the theta that we should shoot at and already hit the center of the target, we can reverse engineer this and say theta should be the inverse sine. Let's see, 2 theta will be the inverse sine of r times g divided by v naught squared. Or in other words, r theta will be 1 half times the inverse sine of rg over v naught squared. If we shot with the same 240 meters per second, this would be 1 half sine of 60 meters times 9.8 over 240 squared. Let's figure out what that is. 60 times 9.8 divided by 240 squared, inverse sine, divided by 2, gives me 0 0.292 degrees. If I bore sight for this distance, 0.292 degrees, shoot above by that amount, I'll hit the center of the target.